Hi everybody, welcome to the Wick Digital Taste today. My name is Ariane Donoghue and I'm here to give you a quick little taster of Google Sheets. Or, there goes my Google Home, or Microsoft Excel. Both of these are tools that you'll use really frequently in any kind of digital marketing role, whether it's at an agency or working in-house for a brand. And I'm going to show you one of my favourite formulas that you would probably use every day in the world of PPC. So, hopefully technology will work with us and this demo will go smoothly. Wish me luck. One of the things that we do really frequently in the world of paid search is write ad copy for our clients, as well as having to decide the keywords that we will bid on for them and the landing pages that we will land those people on. We also have to write the message that they will click on when they see the ad in the Google search results or the Bing search results. What that entails is not necessarily everything that you see in the screenshot here. It entails the headlines. We can have up to three headlines available in every ad of up to 30 characters each, although generally two will only show in the results at a given time. So here we've got new Seat Leon deals, great deals on brand new Seats. Those are the two headlines, one after the other, separated by a dash followed by the domain that we're sending someone to and Google pulls that through automatically. We then have the ability to write two lines of description. Description line one always shows. Description line two will sometimes show in different situations. Um, and we have up to 90 characters each to spend on those for want of a better phrase. So here you can see there's one headline, SE and FR Tech Editions now from only 699 deposit and a 199 a month 4.9% APR. This one here looks like it actually has two lines of description. Um, so these two lines here at the bottom. But where it can become quite difficult when you're writing ads is when you're writing a lot of ads, how do you know if you've hit your character limits? How do you know if you have more characters to play with? Rather than go through and count the characters in a cell individually, I'm going to show you one of my favourite formulas that teaches you how to do this. And it's a formula called LEN. Let's say, for example, that I've written a headline here for the last thing I bought, which was a gaming mouse. So let's say I'm going to write a headline that goes like this. Top quality gaming mice uh, available. If I want to know how many characters that is, as I say, I could sit here and count the characters one by one. But nobody has time for that. So we're going to use a formula to do this work for us. Anytime we want to use a formula in Excel, we always begin by pressing the equals key, which alerts Excel to the fact that we're going to use a formula. And I'm going to type in the formula name, which in this case is LEN, L-E-N. With Excel, when you start typing in a formula name, it will bring up a list of formulas to choose from. And you can scroll down and choose it. You can finish typing in the name yourself. But what I'm going to do here is scroll down to it and press the tab key. What pressing the tab key does is then open up that initial bracket because any formula that you create in Excel begins with an equals, has the formula name, and then you begin to put your instructions for the formula inside a set of parentheses. So that's what we're doing now. And Excel also gives you handy little tips on how to accurately fill in the formula. So here it's saying text. It's asking me, what text do you want me to count for you? So what I'm going to do in this case is choose this cell here to the left because that's the cell that I want it to count. I'm going to then close the bracket and then press equals. And what that will do, you can see that's counted the number of characters in the cell for me and it tells me that I've got 33. Now, as per our data over here, I'm only allowed 30 characters in a headline. So I'm going to have to shorten that a little bit. Let me do that by removing the word top, which should give me a total of 29 characters, which it does. Um, let's say I want to write my second headline now. Top quality gaming mice available. Order before 3 p.m. for next day delivery. Okay, so I can type the formula in again here, but because I'm lazy and I want to save myself a few keystrokes, I'm going to copy the formula and paste it in this cell. When you copy and paste a formula, it's always worth just double clicking in the cell to make sure that it's referencing the right cell, that it isn't looking for a cell down here or a cell over here. If it's pointing to where you expect, we can just press equals and trust the number that it gives us. Now, interestingly, this number is too high. It's 39 characters and there's not really anything that I want to cut here. So I'm going to take that entire uh, row and I'm going to move it here because I've got 90 characters to play with in my description. So maybe I can add a little bit more information to my descriptions 
and I can make full use of the 90 characters that I have available. Order before 3 p.m. for next day delivery. Shop online with confidence. Okay, and so let's copy and paste that and see if that works. And for some reason, you can see that's referencing a completely weird cell that we don't want it to point to. So I'm just going to drag that back over here, press enter, and that's at 68 characters. So I would have another 22 characters to play with here if I wanted to, to really get the most out of that line of messaging. But you get the idea. So what this means is I could write loads of different ads. Top quality gaming mice available. Let's see, buy your gaming mouse here um the uk's fighting off a sneeze sorry what best gaming mice and let's say i then wanted to count how many letters were in each of these cells i can then just drag this formula down for as many cells as i want to check and it tells me exactly how many characters so it even then tells me zero for each of these cells because there's nothing in them, which is good. Shows we know the formula works. And that is how you do a really quick and easy lend formula in Excel or Google Sheets. Thank you.